guys welcome back to the shop again this week uh, this is going to be the second installment of our hill style longbow build uh, today we get the blank all glued up and ready to go so guys um, when we last were together all we had was the parts hang with me today and I will show you how to get here all right so we're getting ready to lay out the riser of our bow here um, and something that I think happens frequently is that the depth of the grip gets away from a lot of a lot of guys so the depth on this particular riser is a little less than one and one quarter inches right and hill style bows tend to have a very deep deep grip on them but what you have to take into consideration when you're putting together the thickness of this thing is the total stack of the bow itself so we've got our our grip but then we also have the thickness of our uh, belly lamb in addition to the backing and once everything is stacked together here we're now dealing with about one and three quarters inches deep and one and three quarters inches deep is pretty deep of a grip especially when you consider that um we are likely going to put a leather or some sort of wrap on this bow because that's in keeping with the, the traditions of a hill style design is that they have a wrap. So we do not want to be too deep on this grip, which leaves me with really a pretty small riser. The benefit of that is that we can accommodate a ramp that's going to work pretty well as far as getting that, that uh, bamboo to bend and ride up that length because this is really this is going to be the toughest part of this glue up it's just getting a good joint here and getting that bamboo to rest tightly against this ramp and you'll see that it's really this is not a very extreme bend but when we get to uh, trying to apply our belly pieces this becomes a pretty uh, pretty difficult task for that bamboo to uh, accomplish All right, so I've got everything uh, ground down to very uh, feather as feathered edges as I can get. And I actually, I kept a good square edge on here, but I was starting to lose this one over here. So, uh, let's see, I can't, I don't know. I guess you can't really see it in the sun how thin those are but nevertheless this uh this mimosa wood is really quite pretty i'm gonna be almost ashamed to to uh hide this under the bamboo but hopefully we get some really good figure on the edges here that you can see in the riser and the finished bow <coughs> um so anyway uh, I'm going to uh, start dry fitting everything. Uh, we're going to have to get our other bamboo pieces cut in half uh, and start working them up the ramps here. See if we can get a good solid glue up and, and then go from there. Uh, something, guys, that you'll want to really pay attention to. First off, I think you can see better from here. You really want to have a good transition right here, right? Like it's got to be pretty slow in order to get that good glue line out into the limb uh, the other thing you want to do is make sure that you don't you don't like ramp up too much at the back side of of this so it, we need the bamboo to be able to lay down at the top of the, the transition as well so you don't want it you don't want it curling off at the top too much otherwise you just create issues trying to get it to lay down so really this transition is very important as 
much as this one is up here too. I have literally dry heat and kind of bent the tip of this bamboo up the actual riser of the, uh, or the ramp of the riser. And you can see there's light in there. So um, I'm not so sure that that is going to work in the end result. Um, getting pretty good bend out in here, but once it's cooled off, I'll take it out. But I think what might work better is just take an old recurve end here. So here's my other side of bamboo. And I think I'm just gonna dry heat and bend it along this curve here. And then hopefully when I go to glue it on, I have to actually bend it back out uh, to come tight, which would be the uh, more optimal scenario. So <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one and then we'll see which one turns out best. All right guys, well it turns out that uh, heating it and pressing it down against the uh, actual riser was the best, best outcome here. Uh, it didn't take a whole lot of bend, but something I'm going to do to kind of ensure my uh, success with this is since I know the, the ramp basically begins at the uh, bracket of the um, bamboo, I'm going to take from that edge and just thin out basically this length of the bamboo. Uh, so not only does that uh, take that that parabolic shape out of the, the bamboo from the heating, but it also thins things down really well, uh, or thins out the bamboo a lot. When it comes to gluing everything up, guys, it is uh, vitally important that you get everything organized, labeled, laid out, and prepared in advance. Um, it doesn't matter how many bows you've glued together over time. Uh, if, if you're someone who does regular glue ups, and, and uh, if you're like me, I guess, if, and, and feel like you could probably glue one up without too much you know, forethought or, or uh, concern, which I do on occasion, depending on the bow. But on something like this, guys, where the layout is very specific, so um, we're not we're not constructing a, an evenly uh, evenly proportioned bow, right? So the top limb in this build is one inch longer than the bottom limb. And when we do things like that, we have to ensure that we've got the right parts put together, that we've got the top and bottom limb uh, marked out, um, and we're very clear on how everything is going to go together. Um, I'm going to start this whole glue up by putting a piece of uh, heavy density foam down on the mold itself. This is actually the center of our grip right here. So center of the bow, center of the grip. So the center of the bow actually is going to be right at the center of the mold. But when we lay up the riser piece, the riser is going to actually sit half an inch below center, which yields a longer limb this direction than it does this direction, right? Which means when it comes to our belly pieces lined up even here, one is one inch shorter than the other at the tip end. And you gotta make sure that you get your lower limb put on the lower side, just like this and like this. So I've got everything labeled up. All right, so that's the layup for everything. Otherwise, I'm a little bit out of screen here. But, I'll just kind of show you where I get some, some of these things. So this, this right here, the reason for this heavy density foam is because I have the, uh, the bamboo irregularities, right? And I need the, the foam to take up the uh, space on, on those or the, uh, 
the bump, you know what I mean? So, so the cushioning right there helps even out the bend on this bow as we're clamping it down so that it's not straight up between nodes where it could potentially bow between each, each, uh, node, uh, on there. And this particular piece of foam that I have right here is just cut from pieces of, uh, heavy density foam. It's, it's one of those floor, uh, pieces of foam that you can get. Uh, I want to say like over at Harbor Freight, you can buy a package of like five or six of them for, I don't know, seven or nine dollars, something like that. Uh, great for this sort of, uh, uh, purpose right here, right? So once everything is laid up, okay. Uh, and in order, we're just going to wrap it straight up with, uh, with bands just like this, right? We don't have to worry about anything, any kind of, uh, clamping pressure projecting onto the bamboo because the bamboo is, is sturdy enough and stout enough to, uh, uh, not show that in the finished work. Uh, fiberglass is not, uh, as friendly in that regard. All right. So <clears throat> everything I have is all labeled up, ready to go. Um, we, uh, all we need to do now is get the glue and spend a little time getting this guy put together. finished glue up you guys um i think it went pretty well uh this of course is the biggest concern right in here and i would tell you that my very first wrap looked to have it down tight and i put three more wraps on subsequent to that so um we really should have a pretty good, pretty good glue up here. So we will find out just how well this went come tomorrow. Uh, work is done for the day today. I'll uh, sit back and enjoy the remainder of this. All right, guys, uh, that'll do it for this week. Thanks a lot for uh, joining me. Uh, in the garage and uh, next week should prove to be a really exciting week pulling this uh, blank out of the mold so join me then <laughs>